join Joe, John, and Jim as they discuss the biggest stories in the world of sports. Put them all together, it makes a nice package, right? Get ready for passionate and intelligent conversation about the biggest issues and personalities in sports. It's unscripted. Somehow got mono, God knows who he was making out with. Some people call him dirty, I like to call him creative. It's unfiltered. I'm going to need another beer soon. And I said, well, hold, you're making my point, right? My my thoughts are, I'm (laughs) going to call my therapist after the show is what I'm going to do. What's up, Bean Apple fans? Welcome back to the Week 16 Patriots Bills recap show. Uh, Going to dive into some some deep, deep, dark feelings mm. for John. Some feelings of elation for me, uh, and I'm pretty sure Jim's just going to poke at the bear. That's what I'm good <laughs> at, I think. As would be expected. Yes. As would be expected. Definitely have as much fun with it as we can because uh, I can only. Being a Jets fan, I can appreciate a 29-point loss as well as anybody can, I think, especially with the Adam Gase regime. So, John, I know exactly how you feel today, if it makes you feel any better. I I, I can imagine. I can imagine you can. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, let's let's break down. Well, first off, how are you guys doing? How was was... – Fantastic, Joe. Yeah. Fantastic. It was just a one-day break, but, uh, you know, Mm. I I still missed you guys. Yeah, I did get my eyes dilated today, so I've, it's been kind of funky all day. Yeah. So if you know I what? talk a little bit crazy about New England, don't mind me. It's just the the eye drops talking. If mm. you would have got your eyes dilated yesterday, the game would have been a lot better to watch. <laughs> right. Oh, it would have. I should have went and did that about 8 o'clock last you night. Have. Maybe Cam should have did that. I think he did. By the Maybe way. Yeah, the problem. I think Kevin Stidham were yeah. drinking eye drops before the game. <laughs> Oh my God! What a showing! Go ahead, let's uh, let's dive into this. We finally got a, a Jarrett Stidham signing, with all mm. Patriots sighting, which all Patriots fans were hoping for. We got it. It was not what you wanted. <laughs> Nothing was what I wanted. Um, so, quite honestly, if that wasn't the next to last game of the season, I don't think I could have stomached through it. Uh, the fact that we only had two games left, I had to stay up and watch it. Plus, we're doing a show for it. So um, I don't know if you can see in the background there, but that's a picture of Cam Newton wearing a Carolina Panthers uniform. Hmm. For some reason, my father-in-law had that years and years ago, and we just ran into it a few, probably about two, three weeks ago. And I said, I, I need to make this a piece for the show. And, well, there it is. Um <laughs> But anyway, so so on to the game. I'm not even going to talk too much. I want to talk about where they need to go. Um, you know, our running game was pretty decent, actually. That's the one good thing. We averaged six yards a carry. Uh, carry. We actually ran for 145 yards, which I thought was pretty good, uh, being as much as we were down. Um, you know, nine for 21 combined, 56 yards for, for both quarterbacks. I mean – or, or 76, I'm sorry. Like I said, my eyes are dilated. 76 yards or, or 78 yards, whatever the hell it was. Whatever it was, it was shit. We still couldn't break 100 between two quarterbacks. Um, I, you know, we dropped a touchdown early in the game on that kind of trick play, which I thought could have set the tone a little bit better. Instead, we settled for a field goal. Um, zero pass protection. Um um, kind of all game. I mean, it was pressure all game, and we couldn't do that to Buffalo. I mean, Allen had seemed like 10 to 15 seconds every play to throw the ball. So I heard some rumbling today. Oh, J.C. Jackson got burnt by Diggs, which he did, which I, I'm, I'm not going to say that he didn't. But, I mean, God, how long can you cover these guys for one-on-one? Because that's what the Patriots do. It's a man coverage. So, you know, just an ugly game all around. Hey, kudos out to – to, to Diggs and Allen, they they destroyed us. Um, it's it's just got just an ugly, ugly, ugly game. Um, again, wasn't fun to watch. I, I don't even know. Um, I, I don't even know how to explain this season. Except I did predict us going seven and nine, and now I hope we don't because I 
I, I, I want to stay in the draft position we're at, which I think is what, 13, I think right now, 13 or 14. Um, and I'll, I'll talk about what I think we need to do later. But, um, you know, nine receptions, um, again, none to a tight end. Nikhil Harry, one for three, four targets. Uh, Jacoby Myers, six targets. It was just gross. Just an absolute mm-hmm. gross passing game. Um, I hope whatever we do next year includes – a quarterback and a number one wide receiver because this is going to get old. This is going to get old real quick. Well, it's not going to get old for me. I mean, <laughs> I, I can see drinking the, right now. Like, like I said to you on Facebook, this is year one of 20. It's <laughs> all turning around now. This is, this was one bad year in the last 20, but it's also the first year. Well, I hope you're wrong. Next I, I truly years. hope you're wrong. <clears throat> uh, I don't. How how glorious would it be? How I this show would be the the love of my life. Sorry, <laughs> you know, my wife. I'm sure isn't watching this, but uh, this this well, would be. A, I mean, that's the obvious. That's the true love of your life. This yeah. would be the love of your life. <laughs> <Really tough too. laughs> true, true. Uh, but yeah, what a this game was just so one sided from the get go. It was kind of hard to just to see a Patriots team play like this, to see Bill Belichick, a Bill Belichick mm-hmm. led team mm-hmm. at home, just look uncompetitive. I've never seen it in, you know, at least that I could remember as far, even, even when Tom was hurt or when he was suspended. Yeah. We went in 11 and five. These teams, there was never a point where these teams were mm-hmm. uncompetitive. And, and last night, I mean, like the announcers, and we were talking about it before the show, the announcers were pointing out, when was the last time you've seen a team come into Foxborough and rest their starters in the third quarter? Right. Yeah. 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 You have to go back to the, the 80s right. for that to happen. It's just uh, – it, it was it was unlike anything that I could remember seeing. Um, and obviously you being a Patriots fan growing up with it, going through some very hard times, you might not even have seen it because the games were blacked out. Right, right. <laughs> So this might be the first time you've seen anything like this happen as well. And like they said, a 29 point loss is the largest, the largest loss that new England bill Belichick has had since 2000. Right. Yes. Which is insane. Just insane. Well, and, and to kind of sum up the year, I don't know if you guys watched the whole game, but um, the first challenge that bill tried, and I want to say the second half, I think it was the second half. Um, No, first half. When um, he challenged that the receiver got both feet down for a first down, which is kind of shocking that you're going to do that for 10 yards. Mm-hmm. Um, but if you've seen it, after Bill seen the replay, he threw his phone. He threw the phone that he was talking to the guys upstairs. I mean, it mm-hmm. was like a David Ortiz and Yankee dugout type phone. You know <laughs> what I mean? It was just, I mean, he went batshit on him. He chucked it. He was pissed off. Who told him to challenge that play? I don't know if you guys seen it. I don't know if you can find it, Joe. Terrible challenge. I'm like, why is Bill challenging this right now? And then you go to look at it. Somebody told him to, of course. I know that's how it works. Yeah. But, I mean, I mean, that just sums up the season as a whole. Um, you know, mental mistakes, a couple of offsides by us. You know, one would have um, – uh, one cost us an interception basically in the end zone by J.C. Jackson. I mean, it, it was just mental mistakes after mental mistakes. And like Shani said, uh, probably one of the worst games I've watched. I, I don't even remember when. It's not in the last 20 years. So mm-hmm. it, it probably had to be in high school for me as well the, the last time. I mean, just an uncompetitive team. But the run game was good. That's what's crazy. We averaged six yards a carry. Um, if we weren't down by two touchdowns the whole game, we probably could have kept that up. You know, so I guess that's one bright spot. But I mean, just when Bill challenged that play, he chucks his phone. That that summed up the season right there. And you you could just tell, um, you know, when he loses control, man, that's that's not often. You know, he gets pissed off, but not like that. Mm-hmm. I've never seen him like that. Mm-hmm. So uh, you can only imagine if there were fans this oh. year, and there were fans in the stands, and 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 Gillette, what would that have looked like, right? I probably would have been everyone because of how cheap it would have been, to be quite mm-hmm. honest. You know, but I mean, I mean for last night's game, I mean, blown uh, out early, right? There, there was never a chance that they were going to come back. And, no, uh, no, 
they would have been gone. I mean, I would have stayed the whole time just to sit and drink with my brothers. But yep. um, hey, let me uh, let me bring that play up for you here. I'll go. Uh, I don't hear it. Well, here we go, right here. Oh, here we go. And here it is. Oh. <laughs> wow. I mean, you just normally don't see him, but look at this. Who said to do this? One, two, mm. clear as day. Clear as day. Yep. Isn't that right in front of their bench? Yes. Wow. His left foot was down when he caught it. He dragged the right toe. It was clear as day that he was in. So I, I don't know, maybe it was his kid or something. So that's probably – that looks like a father getting pissed off at, a, at one of his sons, you know what I mean? But also the most emotion I've seen Bill Belichick display in mm -hmm. a decade. I don't yes. know. Yes. Um, <laughs> you don't see happiness or anger out of him. He's always just – Though well, I did enjoy, did you see his his press conference well, after? I was going to say, did you see that? Oh, oh my God. God. Slouching down in the chair. They're asking him who, who they're starting next week. I chuckle at that because I've been watching him for years, but now people are really going to pay attention. Mm -hmm. But he was just like, uh, the game just got over 15 minutes ago. I don't mm -hmm. know yet. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, he was um, bad. He was oh, bad. pissed off. Absolutely mm -hmm. pissed, which, as he should be, his team looked like shit. Yeah, I, I just his teams don't look like that. I don't understand it. You know, uh, total sidebar here, but we're, as we're talking about post game press conferences, did you see your favorite players post game oh, there? Baker. Baker? Ooh, man, he was unhappy about his loss to the Jets. My God, <laughs> he didn't even take questions. He just answered well, all the possible questions hmm. that he thought they would ask, and, and then he just got up and walked yeah, away. I've seen that. Oh. That was hilarious. I wanted to share it with you because I know how much you love him and how how much you would how much enjoyment you get out of that. But I totally well, totally and, forgot. And, it. and now on on the Cleveland note, uh, Mason Rudolph starting next week. So yeah, they just let them in the playoffs. Yeah, here you go. Uh, yeah, probably. Yeah. But I mean, who knows? I mean, I don't know who's going to play for their D. I don't know if it's going to be their their all their regulars. But uh, that's unfortunate because I want to see Cleveland not make it just because mm. of Baker Mayfield. Yeah. Yeah, that would have been awesome. But yeah. what are you going to do? Uh, uh, yeah, so uh, New England. <laughs> now what? So, um, you know, I've been yeah. kind of having discussions all day on Facebook about this. Yeah. And and we are further away than just a couple defensive plays, Joe, like we were talking before. Um, yeah, that's what. big holes. I mean, are they going to sign Gilmore and Jackson? Well, Gilmore signed. But that's a that's seven million dollars. Is he actually going to play for seven million? I don't know. Yeah. Um, and J.C. Jackson, I don't think will be as good without Gilmore. Like my brother Shane pointed out, would he have ten or, or eleven interceptions if Gilmore wasn't on the other side? I don't know because he sure got roasted last night. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was so. We we were talking about this, Jim, before you came in uh, as we were waiting, but uh, I was having a discussion. I think it was a Yahoo sports post that was put up about the Patriots. And somebody was saying that, uh, that this is just a, a small hiccup in the, uh, before the second coming of the dynasty of the Patriots, basically. Um, and I kind of got into him a little, little bit back and forth mm -hmm. with this guy about this because uh, he was trying to tell me that the defensive players that sat out are kind of the reason why the Patriots are struggling and all they need is a number one wide receiver and a, and a decent quarterback, which apparently they're just everywhere. Decent quarterbacks are everywhere. That's why every team, you know, has, or all these teams have so much trouble finding an adequate quarterback. Cause they're just so, they're so uh, prevalent that mm -hmm. they just can't figure out which one to get. Right. So it's just easy to find an average decent quarterback. But uh, John, me and John were talking about like the fact that the running game, is all over the place. Like some, some weeks Harris is great. You had Sony Michelle look pretty good last night. When, when was the last time you saw that? Um, you know, it's just this, there's no consistency in the Patriots running game. There's no consistency in the wide receivers. The quarterback situation is a disaster. And the two tight ends, John, we were talking about this, the two tight ends that the Patriots drafted in the third round. I mean, two third round picks that you invested in two guys that, what was the statistics for them this year? Two catches. So the Patriot 
uh, tight ends have 15 catches this year. 13 by um, Izzo and two by – God, what's his name? Um, Ugla Bagla? Uh, no, um, it, it, it's not Asi Asi. It's uh, – my God, I, I – uh, Keeney. Keen. Keen, yes, Dalton yeah. Keen. So two by him. Right. Two catches for 10 yards from two uh, two tight ends that were drafted in the third round. Yeah, so you spent – yeah, you spent two premier picks because third round picks are still they're they're relevant players. They're, and then we took a kicker to... in the fifth round that didn't even make the team. Yeah. I and that and I, I don't know, and you guys didn't have a first round pick this year, right? Uh no, we did. Uh it was Duggar, uh safety. Oh, Kyle you went Duggar. the safety route. What has he yeah. done? Kyle Duggar, he's actually been a starter this year. So I, I mm-hmm. he's he's actually playing pretty well. He is. I mean, he, he has 38 tackles, no interceptions, yeah. nothing like that. But I High mean, tackle and solo. I'm sorry, he was a second round pick. Never mind at 37. Yeah, you lost the first round for the. Uh, yeah, yeah. For the. Uh, for the filming craft thing, right? Uh, for the filming, yeah. Wasn't it? That's right. What the bronze that? filming, yeah. Yeah. For right. cheating? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, for, for cheating. For cheating? The sorry, yeah, we, no, we should. There's a cameraman in the wrong position. That's all, Jim. <laughs> well, he was positioned correctly for what he was supposed to be doing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was against yeah. the Bengals. I mean, I, I, that's the, I can't. That, and that's the worst thing with that. Is that is the worst thing about it. You go, you go to <laughs> Cleveland. Is 100%. Yeah, you go to Cleveland and you disguise filming the, the no-win Bengals as an interview mm-hmm. with production staff or whatever. Like – what are you? Why are you risking for the windless Bengals? I, I couldn't even believe that. But I mean, just blatantly pointing the camera down there, trying to play it off on the sideline. You're like, I can't even imagine if you're Bill Belichick or Robert Kraft. You got to be like, are you kidding me? Are you? I'm paying you to discreetly Bengals, yeah. do this, yeah, and go the second round, yeah. and you're screwing it up. So. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, they probably did it every week. It was the Bengals that caught them, right? They were they they always yeah, do it. it. The they always do something. Yeah, it was, it was the, Browns, the Browns. The Browns yeah. security guard, I think it was security oh. guy, caught him pointing the camera down there and holding it down there and trying to be discreet and mm. took the tape, uh, confiscated the tape, played it back, and found out he was recording the the sideline the whole time. So, Unreal. yeah, that's that's what happens, but. Uh, but you know, like uh, some people say, that's how the, that was the key to victory for the Patriots. Maybe it was. Maybe they uh, they can't cheat anymore. So, so now what? <laughs> don't don't inflate you, the too. ball. Don't Tell inflate me. the ball all the way. You have the camera on the sideline. Yeah. You know. Maybe we need to go back to that. I'm I'm that's good right. with that. Give up a could, first rounder every now and then. It was working. It was definitely what? working. So, <laughs> I'd give up a first round pick every year for a Super Bowl champion. I would. So the, the question I have for you is: If Brady didn't leave, would the Pats have made the playoffs? No. No, they no. may have had a couple more wins. I think a couple more wins. I do. You know, I, I, I I'd probably say two more wins right now. You know, they'd be going into the finale looking at a nine win season. Mm-hmm. Um. We don't have the weapons. I mean, mm-hmm. me and my brother were talking earlier, and, and the weapons that Brady had after Brown and Gordon uh, weren't part of this team last year were basically the same now. So you're looking at a at the same wide receivers. I mean, Julian Edelman's been out practically the whole year, so he hasn't been around. Um, I, 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 I mean, honestly, you could probably put Mahomes in there and I still don't know what you would do because who's going to get open for him? Mm-hmm. Honestly, who, yeah. who's going to get open for him? I mean, they have no deep threat. Mm-hmm. We, you know, we can't open up the field. The the safeties and linebackers play down the whole time. That's why I'm shocked we have as many rushing yards as we do because we don't have a deep threat to 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 even make the safeties sit twenty yeah. yards back. We really mm-hmm. don't. I, I, um, you know, kind of going off this question, Jim, off season. Um, we need a tight end that can catch. Need a tight end that can catch the ball. I'm talking 50, 60 balls a year. That's part of their offense. Um, you know, they changed their offense this year to suit Cam, and, yeah, he has tons of rushing touchdowns, but he has two throwing touchdowns. I mean, God, I, I mean, it's just pathetic. It, it, it just is. And um, 
We need a quarterback, you know. I don't know what they're going to do. I don't know who's going to be released. I don't know who's going to be available. Um, I'm still sticking to my G, uh, my Jimmy G prediction that if he gets released or San Fran wants to cut ties with him, I think he's going to be on the Patriots because he already knows the system and Belichick loves him. Yeah. You know, he's a health risk for sure. Yeah. And I don't know if I'd like that, but I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Huge, huge gaping hole of quarterback right now. And, I don't know, Matty Ice, but I mean, how old is he? Thirty-five. He's up there. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's yeah. just I don't, I don't know. I don't know who's going to be available. I don't. Yeah, and I think, I think that's probably the best bet would be for the for the Patriots to probably give a, a fourth, for Jimmy G, and pick up that salary, and just just take it. Like that would probably be the best bet for them because, like, like Matt Ryan's old, yeah. Matt Stafford's old. And yeah. they both have big contracts as well. You might as well go with the young guy that you already know can be successful in your right. system. If you're going to pay, if you're going to pay a big contract for a for a quarterback anyway, why not? Why not get the guy that you know can at least do something with what Bill wants to do? And and he was successful with uh, um, what's his nuts? Oh, you talking no, about uh, 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 Josh, uh, Josh Josh McDaniels? McDaniels yeah, mm-hmm. he was already successful in that system. So you, know you're, yeah. right, so you, you, you know there's not going to be a learning curve there. You know there's yeah. there's not going to be any tailoring to a quarterback. He's got it. He's got what you need. I, I mean, I would call probably I mean, even the third round. I mean, if you're going to give up, if you're going to draft two shitty tight ends, you might as well give yeah. a third round up for, for a right. quarterback that can go in there and do something, right? Yeah, but I, I mean, he's always hurt. I, I, he's not, I mean, Ryan is older, but he's more durable than, than Jimmy G or Stafford, right? Yeah. I mean. Ryan at least is going to be in there, right? He takes his hits, he gets back up. I mean, uh, Jimmy G is out half the season. So then who's your backup? What are you going to have? Stidden play half the year behind him? Come on. And I I don't know what the deal is with with Cam, but my God, him trying to throw the ball last night? I mean, into the ground, it looks like he, it looks like there's something wrong with his shoulder. I mean, we talked about how Phillip Rivers throws the ball, but Cam kind of revs up and fires that ball downhill. And into the ground more often than not. I mean, he can't throw the ball deep. I don't. I haven't seen him throw a deep ball in a long time. And not, not that I watch the Pats all the time, but my God, yeah. any games I've seen with him, he looks horrible. He looks like he can't hit anything. Oh yeah, and I mean, but only 10, 10 attempts, and they put him at thirty something yards. What do you have? Thirty-four yards on ten oh. attempts. I mean, that's typical Cam. But I but, mean, that's, that's not typical for a quarterback in the NFL. No, no it's 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 Tim Tebow. It's what it is. Yeah. It's he is Tim Tebow at this point in his career, and he almost had as many rushing yards as passing yards. But how do you only have ten attempts? No, no. and even well, when like, he goes to throw, he's got to crank it up, crank yeah. it up as far, and then fire that ball as hard as he can. I, I've ne- I haven't seen anybody throw the way he tries to throw, and it just doesn't make any sense to me. I don't think he's always thrown that way. It, it's no. something that doesn't seem right with his with his mechanics for sure. With his body, I don't know, but. Something's not right. He, he, that's not how you how you play quarterback. I, yeah. I can't even see if they cut him or whatever they do with him. Who's picking him up? He's only on one show. I'm saying, a, where, where is he going? Who's signing him? I think he's done. Personally. I don't think anybody's going to pick him up. Are they going to try and you know uh, retool him and, and change the way change his mechanics? Because to me, you got to change everything. And and for what he's shown, I, yeah. I don't think anybody even takes a chance. No, now, look, and, Morgan and, Basement, right? I'll tell you um, what. So the they, reason they Cam park in basement. Well, yeah. I mean, and, and and there's a reason why, because that's all we could afford. Mm-hmm. Um so so Cam came to us with what a one year, one million dollar guaranteed, and I don't know what the incentives are, but it's a it, it was a million dollar contract. So that's all we had at the time. Yeah. So I mean he was then obviously Stedham is not it. Stedham's not it. Um but do we truly know that? I mean by two quarters of a blowout game and Cam starting against the Jets now. So it's like, so apparently it's not Stidham. Maybe Bill's trying to help Cam out. Um, but a lot of one hoppers last night, Jim. I don't know if you watched it, but I mean, yeah. some were two hops to, to yeah. friggin' receivers that were 10 yards out. <laughs> yes. um, so, so again, he, it, this just doesn't look like the quarterback that was playing pre COVID when he got COVID. It just doesn't look like him. I mean, he no. has a serious zing on the ball, unless mm-hmm. he has tired arm. What do they call that? That that baseball arm, tired arm, dead, right? Dead or arm. dead arm, dead arm. Mm-hmm. Dead arm. So, I, 
maybe, maybe that's it. I mean, he hasn't played a lot the last couple of years, so maybe that's it. I don't know. Um, I don't know if I, I – I mean, Stafford – I'm just looking at the comments now. Stafford can throw the ball. I mean, the guy can chuck it. Yeah. Uh, but, but, but he's hurt a lot too. Um, same here. Jim, uh, you know, I, I think you convinced me, and Ryan's 36 years old, but, my God, the guy can throw it. But, again, mm -hmm. who's he throwing it to? It's yeah. a, again, it doesn't matter right. who we bring in. Right. Matt Ryan um, looks great right now because he's got Julio Jones and Calvin Ridley down there. Like and just, Gage. I mean, Gage is a great yeah. – uh, my God, mm -hmm. the guy puts up insane numbers for a third receiver. Right, right. Stepped in and came out of nowhere this year. But, Hell, yeah, he did. You know, and then um, we talked about Matt Stafford in the past. He had Megatron that he could just throw the ball up to and triple, right. quadruple cover. You could put every, every player on defense around him. He's coming down with the ball. He's just <laughs> – <laughs> yes, he does. I like that. I never heard that term before, but I know what you mean. <laughs> Maybe a bowling league. I don't know. Do you think he can bowl? I mean, I feel bad for the guy because I, I like Cam. I do. I love the signing when they did it because it was zero risk for money. <clears throat> zero. Yeah. Right. But it turned out that we just. Uh, you get what you pay for. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, you <laughs> That's what you, you got. Do. 100%. We got yeah. what we paid for. Oh, um, but we also couldn't afford anything. No. Funny thing is, I'm looking at next year. So our cap space, because they're looking at going from, what, 250 or 225 down to 175, I think. We're third behind, get this, Jacksonville's at one with like 83 million. The Jets are at like 78 or something like that show. Is that right? 77? And the Patriots are at 71 million. Um <laughs> What's up, Trevor Lawrence Simmons? Um, <laughs> but so, so Shani, stop buying jerseys. Every time you buy a jersey, I mean, it's it, it's it's kind of like in a wedding singer when he tells his girlfriend, don't wear my Van Halen shirt that the band's going to break up. <laughs> <That's right>. Okay, <laughs> stop doing that, Shani. Right. <laughs> Every time you buy the jersey, they're freaking gone. Right. And Cam, um, Cam doesn't work out. He's too busy playing dress up. Mm -hmm. He hasn't even been doing that this year. That's the crazy thing. He, he, God, I mean, I love the guy, but I don't want to see him on the team next year. Um, <laughs> yes, yeah. you guys are. Yeah, we're number three, though, so I'm happy yeah. about that. See, um, and and Travis, that's kind of a sad thing between me and and you. Is these are the sh this is the shit we get excited about? <laughs> oh, we got a top pick, and we have a whole bunch of money to spend. I want to be like, man, we got the thirty second pick. And we're fucking broke, but we won the Super Bowl. <laughs> like, that's that's what I want. every year. It's like, yeah, we got a top five pick. Who are we gonna take? Jamal Adams. Yeah. Who's this? Uh, who's this Patrick Mahomes guy? Now let him go. Give me Jamal Adams. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, we got two first round picks for Jamal Adams. Too bad they're gonna be the thirtieth pick in the draft. Oh, yeah. Man, it's tough. Sorry. Go ahead. No, no, and and that's kind of that's kind of where we're at, I guess. So so looking forward to next year. So I think a lot of stems on what they're going to do with um, J.C. Jackson. He's a restricted free agent. You got Gilmore on the other side. I would love to see him sign both, but that's going to take up a lot of money. But I'll tell you what, sign them both as long as Gilmore's healthy. Man, I think our defense is going to be okay. Like I said earlier to somebody, I think you sign them two and Hightower comes back. I don't know if Chung will be back. I, I, I think we found a couple of safeties that can play. Um, we need a pass rusher, and I think our D can kind of hang with anybody mm -hmm. given the right circumstances. Last mm -hmm. night, they were on the field a whole lot. If you look, I don't know how many first downs we had, but they were on the field a long, long time last night. They just got tired. Right. Your, um, your D won some of the games for you this year. It wasn't absolutely, Cam. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, so then the question becomes, if, if you didn't sign Cam and Stidham was your quarterback, would you still have had six wins? No, because the defense, the defense probably won two games for you, yeah. Right, maybe three, maybe yeah. three. So could could Stidham have won two or three other games? Maybe a five think, instead of six. I I, I don't think so because Cam. I mean, Cam was a threat with his legs. He was. I mean, he's he, he scored multiple touchdowns with his legs multiple games. So um, what do you have? Fifteen running. I I haven't looked. I'll, I'll guess and say yeah, four. He, he did have a lot. Yeah, 20, 24 running. Oh. This past game? Touchdowns. No. Oh, touchdowns oh, for the season. All right. Yeah, I think um, they said that. But how many were the one-yard variety, right? Did he just true. pump it through the line? Yep. I mean, so well, he, a running back could have done that, right? 
He didn't run true. 20 yards for a touchdown. Right. Very, 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 very true. But at the same time, that was kind of their 12 rushing touchdowns. So he had 14 mm-hmm. touchdowns all year. I mean, that's not good for, for anybody. Mm-hmm. Uh, never mind two throwing. So, I mean. Oh, they, 17, 17 touchdowns. 17. Yeah, okay. yeah five, five passing. Five okay. passing, 10 interceptions. Yeah. So. yeah. I mean, it's just brutal. But, um, I mean, we obviously need a quarterback. We need a tight end that can catch the ball, and we need a number one. <laughs> That's all we need. <laughs> That's it, and then it's all That's back to it. the dynasty. The dynasty's back in town. Well, quite honestly, and and just hear me out for a minute. Quite honestly, hear me out. I uh, love our offensive here, line. I, here comes, I love our. Here comes I, Baltimore doesn't scare me. Here it comes. No, no, Baltimore does scare me. Okay, <laughs> no, I this even, is your version. Yeah, this is <laughs> this is this is the Patriot version of Baltimore doesn't scare me. <laughs> Depending on what we do with our cornerbacks, I don't know what kind of pass rusher we're going to be able to get. I mean, everybody needs a pass rusher, so that's – but we have the money. We have the money to overspend. Um, we get a quarterback in. We get like a Matt Ryan if he's available. I, I still think Jimmy G is going to be wearing a Patriot uniform next year. That's just – that's who I think Belichick wants. Yeah. I don't, I'm not saying I love it. I'm just saying that's what we're going to have. Well, Kyle Shanahan did come out yesterday and say that Jimmy G is his starting quarterback next year. For whatever yeah. that's worth, he's already backing him publicly. He's not doing that little, I'm going to be quiet and let the You want to know he what came. that is? You need to give me a second instead of a fourth now. That's, all that, 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 that's be. all that is. That's just hogwash. Um, so so between Ryan Stafford, maybe somebody else, I, I don't know who else is out there. I, I, I mean, maybe Dwayne Askins. I, I, I don't know. Oh, maybe sign, him to, the practice, maybe sign <laughs> him to the practice squad. I, I don't know. How about Carson um, Wentz? Hmm. Um, mm. Wow. Can, can he stay healthy? I don't know. Well, he. I think he's gonna be healthier than. I mean, you know, Jimmy G is gonna miss four games, right? A quarter of your schedule, he's gonna be off. Yeah, but I don't see Wentz. I, Philly can't do anything with Wentz. They're going to get hit with like a, a massive cap hit on him. For mm-hmm. for however it works out this coming season, they can't do anything with Wentz because of the money. Like absolutely nothing with them because they're going to get crushed with that cap hit. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be available. <laughs> I, I know he will. I know he will. Minshew mania in New England. I, mm. I, I'd rather see Fitzmagic come to New England, to be quite honest with you. But um, – we get a tight end that can catch the ball. Who knows if we can get up high enough? Pitts Pitts might be there. Signed a yeah. wide receiver in free agency, so now you're only paying Pitts first round money. Um, yeah, fifty nine million. Ooh. I know it was disgusting. <laughs> wow, really? Yes, yes. Come so that's on, why that they can't point nine. <laughs> yeah, so so Did they can't get it. a decimal point. That does. <laughs> How can that even be right? <laughs> yeah, if 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 they release them, they're screwed. That's why they can't let them go. Wow. Uh, that's why Philly's going to have a serious problem next year. You better restructure that <laughs> and quick. I, I wouldn't if I was Wentz. No, I I don't. of course I, not. I wouldn't do shit. No, Especially you're, you're, nine million. You're Especially you guys don't meet that in a career. Right. I mean, that's it's just insane. insane. That's insane. Um, I can tell you that. Yeah, right. All, all three of us combined. Yeah. So, so we sign. On the phone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no shit. <laughs> so we sign our cornerbacks. We draft a tight end, pay him rookie money. We sign a quarterback and a number one wide receiver, and we're there. Yeah. We're, we're back. Where, where are you we getting are all these? Back. Do you back remember the hangover? Yeah. Because we're the three what? best friends that anyone could have. We're the three <laughs> best friends. Nice. There you go. So that's so looking at, uh, I'm on Tankathon right now, and they've got New England sitting at 14, but it's a five way tie with a six and nine record and then four, a four way tie at five and 10. Hmm. So if new England loses this week, I mean, they have the potential to jump up to, I mean, right now Detroit has the seventh pick at five and 10. So somewhere, I mean, you guys could jump into the top 10 with a jets victory this week let's go jets you know but what I, then, I but then what do you do like you're so realistically your best bet is to draft a quarterback i mean it depends right i mean, I mean it, it, it truly depends on 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 who's there 
Who's? Yeah. I mean, because honestly, I mean, there's going to be what a potential four or five quarterbacks taken in the first ten picks, right? Because Carolina's they're, they're there, about it. Atlanta's there. They're talking all these teams are drafting quarterbacks. That's why it's. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, yes, you're talking Jacksonville Jets. Uh, I think that'll go one, two quarterback. Uh, Atlanta, potentially. Philly, they're set, I think, with with Hurts for at least for another year or so. Oh, yeah. yeah, They're Uh, happy with Hurts. Detroit, they'll probably be looking to pick somebody up, I'm guessing. Carolina at nine. Denver at 10. Yeah. Dallas, Dallas, maybe at 11. If they're, you know, if they want to move on from Dak. Chargers are set, Minnesota is still set, and then New England at 14. But, like, you could leapfrog, and if you end up in that Carolina, Denver, Detroit range, that's going to get interesting. Because, um, yeah, I think one one and two, I'm really hoping. <laughs> and that, Stop. Oh my God, that'll be awesome. Ooh. Dak in New England, I'll take Dak. Oh, shit, yeah. Pay him whatever oh, he wants. I'll take Ooh. Dak all day long. Oh, my God, I would love that. Dallas has to, Dallas have to trade him, right? Because they already picked up. I think his they already picked up the. They, they already uh, the gave tag. him his his first uh, his first tag. So this year they would have to tag him again, yeah. and what would it be in the top five percent instead of ten for um, top it, eight quarterbacks? It would be like uh, I think team value is what they have to pay. So whatever the Dallas Cowboys team value is, what is it like? For, a billion dollars, I think, is what you have. Yeah, just bad decisions. So Jerry Jones is going to do it. It's. Yeah. I, I would it's love crazy. to see that. I, I, you know, you know what really killed me, and I was talking about this at the beginning of the year before Watson signed his deal in Houston. If he could just become a free agent, and New England slides right in and signs him, my God, that would have been mm. fabulous. But I'll take Dak. I mean, numbers wise, before he went out, my God, I mean, he was not the reason why they were losing. I mean, I had him on my fantasy team. He was putting up thirty to forty plus every every single week. So yeah, that, I mean, that defense was just like an NBA All Star team defense. Yeah, it was yeah. existent. Yeah, it's just yeah. it was like James Harden. It was like James Harden guarding people out there in basketball. Um, <laughs> but yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I, I'd take that shit. Pay him thirty, forty million. I don't want to wait for another quarterback to develop. I, I, I don't. I'm, I think I'm you're gonna have a shit. revolving door of some journeyman. You know, Winston, Tyrod Taylor, you know, these kind of guys coming in and yep. and getting through the season and splitting the season and one year deals until you get a team together and then get yeah. somebody long term, whether it's through the draft or a trade or something. Maybe Josh McCowan. He's yeah. still playing. Maybe Colt McCoy. I think he'll be available. Fuck. Yeah. See, I think that's that's the delusion of New England fans. It's like one of these teams is just going to hand over. Right, right. We'll yeah, just get another yeah. rock star. Yeah, right. here's Matt Ryan. Here's Dak Prescott. What I don't want to see, see though, go ahead, New England. <laughs> what I don't want to see is our O line be wasted. We have a good O line. We have a, I think a above average defense. I won't say a top five D. We're not there, but I think we have an above average D and an above average running game. Joe, I know you were talking, it's running back by committee, but whoever's in there usually plays pretty well. So I'm not too concerned about our running game. Plus, the the days of one running back carrying the ball 30, 40 times a game is gone anyways. So hmm. um, unless your name's Saquon Barkley or McCaffrey or, or Kamara, and then yeah. you look at right. what happened to two of them this year, and, and, and Kamara missed some time too, I think. So um, I don't know if – Again, it's going to take the right players to come in. Um, I'm hopeful that Belichick with that money, because a couple of weeks ago he said, you know, our hands were tied. Um, yeah, yeah, Henry, my bad. Probably Dalvin Cook. I'm going to apologize because 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 Henry to me is the best back in the league. Yeah, uh, Dalvin Cook, guys like that. I mean, so there's only a handful of running backs that that are the mainstay for their teams, anyway. So. Um, I'm happy with our backs. I like them. Um, I like our O-line. I like our D. Uh, we, we do need a pass rusher bad. Um, and, you know, we need a quarterback tight end and, and, and a number one. <laughs> and, and, and I know that sounds crazy, but if we can draft right, if we can draft right, I would love to see that kid Pitts from Florida. I think he would 
just oh my god i i i just i think he would do wonders he's going to go crazy in the nfl he's yeah. going to be like the aaron hernandez i mean i don't know if you guys remember watching hernandez play for the mm -hmm. patriots but the guy would line up on the outside gronk always oh, lined up in the tight end slot i mean you could not stop him we have he's a great be, yes yeah. we do he's going to be he's going to pitts is going to be better than both of them combined i think he um, looks he looks He's bigger than Aaron Hernandez. He's faster yeah. than Aaron Hernandez, but he's as strong as Gronk. He is. I mean, the kid's it, a beast. And yeah. So that God was the, that was kind of where I was going with the uh, with the draft order right now. So if you end up, let's say you, you're sitting at ten, um, I would imagine the top three quarterbacks are going to be gone, but you're going to be sitting there uh, potentially with Trey Lance sitting uh, to grab him. Um, maybe uh, obviously Mac Jones will will be there as well. Uh, so you, you have two potential starting quarterbacks there. And if Trey Lance, I mean, if they're comparing him to Josh Allen, that's, that's not a bad, that's not that's a bad a grab bold statement, though, too. That's it a bold is. Statement. It is. And obviously what his, his pro day is going to be huge for him. And the combine is going to be huge for him because he only played one game this season. Right. So he's going to have to show off. But if he, if he balls out, what does new England do? If they're sitting there at 10, you need a quarterback more than anything at this point. Uh, if the defense is as good as you say, the running back by committee thing is working. If you could get a Josh Allen type quarterback in there, you've got you've got a leg to stand on, right? But I I think, but if Pitts is sitting there at the same at the same pick at ten, how do you pass up that that type of a weapon? But you have nobody to throw him the ball. So well, that's you, where that's where Bill overpays for a quarterback. But what if there's I, nothing available? Because there's I'm nothing. Out. There's nothing saying that any of these quarterbacks we talked about are going to be released or going to be cut. Of course not. Of course right? not. So oh. let, let's let's hypothetically say none of those quarterbacks hit the market. Everybody holds on. Ryan Stafford, Wentz. Obviously, you can't get rid of Wentz. Mm -hmm. uh, Garoppolo is the starter next year in, in San Francisco. Everybody stays put. Mm -hmm. New England. Doesn't have KM. All you've got is Stidham. What? Go get Hill. Go get Hill from New Orleans. They're not letting him go. He's I know. he's the <laughs> heir apparent. To, like, that's what I mean. So, so, I guess I, I I don't know. Yeah. So um, what do you do? So I think we'll know by the draft hits when before the draft we're going to know who the quarterback is going to be for New England. No. I'm going to predict that. I whether or not we draft one. That's that's a different story. I don't know, but I think we'll know before that draft who our starting quarterback is. It's not going to be like this year. It's so, just not. All right. So here, uh, general manager of the New England Patriots, we have on the air right now, John Borman. Thank John you for Borman. joining us. Uh, so with thanks the, for having me, Joe. Thanks for having. Me. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for taking time out, man. We appreciate it. We're You're we're back. a little we're a little show, but we're looking to do big things. So mm -hmm. <laughs> no, but with with the first pick in the draft. What does the general manager of the New England Patriots do this year? If, like I said, the quarterback situation stays as is right now. So, so you have you have your actual available free agent quarterbacks, which are very mediocre. Mm -hmm. What what would you do as the Patriots GM? Well, if if we don't land one of them, if 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 everybody stays put like you just said. Yep. Um, I would see who's there. Um, I mean, I I just think after and after Lawrence and Fields are gone, yep. and, and the kid from BYU is He's gone. Be in the Jets. Um, I don't. I I wouldn't reach for any of them. And and I'm gonna say this. And Shane, don't don't hate my guts for saying this. You know, I love Alabama. No Bama quarterback has ever done anything except for like. What is it, friggin' Joe Namath? Joe Namath, yeah. I, I, in in recent history, Bama <laughs> quarterbacks don't play in the NFL because they're just surrounded by great players in college, and it's just so much easier to look better there. So much easier. So, um, Brown looks great and all at, at, at Bama. I, I don't think I'd go after him. I don't think I'd reach for these other guys. I'm not gonna draft a guy that hasn't played all year either. Sorry, mm -hmm. I mean, I, I, I'm not going first round. I would take – Joe Namath did suck too, minus that 
time. And uh, Joe Namath didn't suck. He gave one of the best interviews ever when he was asking that reporter for a kiss. Yeah, Susie. Oh, yeah. So yeah. cute. Yeah, you're so, you're so cute. Give me a kiss. I kiss you. Uh, Florida quarterbacks as well. I, I agree. Uh, let's uh, not forget about Ohio State. And Ohio State. So you're right. So I wouldn't reach personally. I think if Pitts is there, if I'm at 10 and Pitts is there, um, I'm taking them. I'm taking them. If, if, if we're going to keep McDaniels and Belichick's going to be there for a while, the Patriots have always excelled when they had great tight ends. They always have. What happens when they lose Gronk? They've sucked the last two years. I mean, they got they got nothing. It's part of their offense. So you see what Pitts can do in college. I mean, he was a he was a man amongst boys in college. He truly was, and that yeah. and, and that was in the SEC. So he's mm-hmm. playing against the best talent. I'm not either a Mac Jones fan. Exactly. Um, that's the only other person I may take over Pitts is Smith out of Bama because I'll tell you what he's. That guy runs routes like crazy, and I know Belichick would love that, but I think I'd still go Pitts here because um, we've been striking out on receivers for a while, and I know Pitts would be a, a, a tight end hybrid in, in the pros, probably not so much lining up in the slot so much, um, probably on the outside quite a bit too, but um, I'm in love with Pitts. I am. I'm in love with that guy, and, God, if he could get in a patch uniform and then find a quarterback to – Maybe in the I, later rounds because I'm not reaching. I'm, I would I'm, not. I would not like this as a Jets fan. But yeah, go ahead. Of course not, because you have to cover them now. I know. You know, you have to cover them. So, um, so at, let let me give you this as the as the general manager. Here's your available unrestricted free agent quarterbacks. Okay. Philip Rivers. We already talked about Dak. So Dak, Philip Rivers, Dak, uh, Rivers. Trubisky, and here's Dak. two that I here's two that I'm scared of because it's good plug and plays for you guys. Ryan Fitzpatrick and your old boy, Jacoby Brissett. Mm. Um, Brissett would be a cheap fill in. Yeah, but we didn't win with Brissett even when he filled in. So there's a reason why Bill didn't keep him too. Yeah, you did. We, I think we won one game with, with. I think he only started one game. But. <laughs> <laughs> so. He had a shot in Indy to lead. I, I think Jacoby Brissett's a great backup quarterback. I would graft to him. If yeah. Dak is healthy and we would have the chance to sign him, then all it is is money? Absolutely. Because you know what you're getting. You know what you're getting with Dak. He's a yeah. great quarterback. I mean, he has, he can throw a deep ball like crazy, um, which would force us to get a, 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 a receiver that can open up the field. Um I, I don't like Fitz Magic. He turns the ball over too much. Um, he he plays great mop up duty. That's where he thrives. He's kind of like uh, Foles. Um, not a big fan of. Uh, I, I I mean I wouldn't want to see Brissett. Even though I like Brissett. I, I think he's a great backup. Um, you know, like Trubisky. I'm I mean he was benched for a reason. Would he do okay in New England? I don't know. I think Chicago's going to end up resigning him. To be quite honest, if they make the playoffs, but. Because mm. um, that would mean they're going to beat Green Bay. Um, I don't know. I I would um, had the broken hand in the second start. That's right. That's right. Mm. He did. <laughs> yes, that's right. He couldn't throw the ball. He had a hand off the whole game. Uh, so I guess that wasn't his fault. But again, I, I I mean I wouldn't I wouldn't build around him. I, I just don't think I would. I'd go after Dak, pay him his thirty million a year because now you can pay thirty million a year for him, and he'd probably sign it because he was yeah. just hurt. So um, sign Dak, draft mm. Pitts, sign uh, sign your boy in Detroit rather cheap, and hopefully he stays healthy. Oh, uh, Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, baby Tron. Damn right. Damn right. Sign, sign he's going all... to be a steal because he's he going to have to sign a cheaper contract because he's of been hurt he consistently. But, man, if he could stay healthy, oh, my God. And 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 for those that don't know who we're talking about, because uh, Joe's liked him too, Kenny Galladay. Yes. I mean, what a beast! <laughs> Nick Foles tour coming to New England. Um, oh, that would be something. Yep. And and very true, uh, Travis. Tight end, a much easier transition um, than a wide receiver. Um, I, I, I'll tell you what. So there we go. 
there's what I'm doing if I'm the GM. I'm, I'm going to full court press on Dak, um, bring him in like a college student, have like uh, uh, Dak's face on Tom Brady's head or something like that as he's throwing the, the, the game-winning touchdown in the Super Bowl, draft pits, sign, sign Galladay. He stays healthy all year. We're in the Super Bowl next year. Ugh. No way. Jacoby Myers is 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 the strongest number two you've seen since Cole Beasley this year. Look out, just look out. Man. The thing is though, Dak's not going to go cheap. Still, I don't. No, I don't see no, him. No. And he wouldn't take no. what was it, a hundred and eighty million contract from Dallas with what a hundred something guaranteed. He wouldn't take. I can't see. I, I can't see him giving. That's what I said. Shane. That's what I said. As long as right. Dak's healthy, you don't even know if he's ready. And yeah. and Dak kind of let him go. I mean. Who Salas lets him go, whatever, and, and who's quarterbacking for them? The red Rifle, baby, Andy Dalton. Look yeah. at him. For how long? He's for taking long? them year. Man, I'm telling you right now, if Dalton wins the Super Bowl. Look out! <laughs> There's no way Dalton's uh, uh, Dak's leaving. I'm kidding. I don't no think way. so. I, Jones I think is going to match and double whatever anyone else offers. And, and I'm he's sure. Saying, he's saying, I don't know. I, I think, think he would have. I think he would have already. Why didn't he lock him up when he had the chance? I don't know. He should have. Right. He should have. And there's a reason why because he wouldn't take 180 million dollars. Like like Tyler said, he wants that Jeff Bezos money. It's got to be, it's got to have a B after the numbers, well, or else he's not interested. I mean, he, he's not getting more than Mahomes. We know that. Mahomes mm -hmm. should be the you're right. Right. He maybe he may have a grudge with him now. I mean, there's a reason why they didn't sign him. I mean, if 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 Jerry Jones loved him so much and he throws around money, God, he paid Elliott an ungodly amount. He paid mm -hmm. Cooper, but you're not going to pay your quarterback? That's right. just stupid. Yeah. That's just stupid. Well, it's going to depend on how how Jones handled this whole thing now, right? With him getting hurt and what's he going to do? And is he in contact with him? Is he taking care of? Him? And and maybe he, you know, he, again, you still have to see what he can do when he comes back from the injury too. Right. I mean, Plus. is he going to be ready for opening day, for preseason, for what, mid where, where, When's he going to be ready? <sighs> when's he going to be ready? I, I still don't think, though, so the Pats, I think you build the rest, to get the rest of the pieces, and you put another stopgap in there for another year because it's going to be a little while before you guys come back, right? Whether you put you put in a, a Jacoby or whoever it is, you bring in somebody, falls, it doesn't matter, right? You just get the rest of the pieces ready, right? Get them game ready, and then – Who's unrestricted the year after, right? What quarterbacks are going to be available the year after? Maybe they're looking two years out, saying, let's get the other pieces in place, and then maybe there's some bigger names that are going to become available and go get those, one of them. Yeah, that's just tough, though, because it's, it's, it's really hard to win when you're paying a quarterback 30, 35, 40 million dollars yeah. a year. That eats up, and especially when a cap is going down, and you don't know right. what it's going to go up next year. So you lock up Dak at 35 million a year because that's probably what he's going to want 30 to 35 million a year that is, that that's a huge chunk of your of your salary cap that you got to build around so you know you see these teams that are winning Super Bowls and they're doing it with with rookie quarterbacks with the young with the young guys on team friendly contracts that the, you could build around so if you have to hand out that much money to Dak what else can you do you know you you're going to have a, a one, two year push, and then you're going to have to, then you're going to start losing guys. You're going to start mm -hmm. losing your key guys that you can't afford anymore. And then it's, it's down because you've locked up and that, then you've got that. Then you've got the Eagles problem with Carson Wentz and you can't move on from Dak because you owe him $60 million in dead cap space. If you, if you cut him. So, you know, it's, you draft Trey Lance, you got him for four years with a fifth year option on a, on a rookie contract. Now you could put monsters around him. That's that's the other side. That's why I, mm -hmm. that's why I want the Jets to move on from Sam Darnold because you can get another quarterback for the next four years on a rookie contract that you're not paying twenty plus million dollars a year to, and you got another four years to give it a run. Like it, well, maybe the Pats will get Darnold. He'll be available. He will be available. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I wonder if they would trade him to the Pats. For, I can't. Uh, imagine. We'll trade maybe. you for the kicker that we drafted last year that. That we cut. <laughs> you would you wouldn't take Sam Darnold? Uh, Compared to I, who else is out there, what do you got? I mean, I mean, it, if it came down to it, to where uh, I I don't know. I mean, what do you think, what do you think Shaney? Would mm -hmm. would you take would you take Sam, Sam Darnold? Darnold. Uh, 
say you uh, trade a, I mean, he's been playing pretty decent. Would you, uh, would you give up a fourth for wow. Sam? Darnold? Yes. He's saying yes. A fourth mm. for Donald. No, I, mean, I don't think last, you would have to give up a fourth. The last couple games, he's looked pretty good. He hasn't looked great, but he's looked, he's looked a lot better. He's looked better than Cam, a lot better than Cam. So, and like I said, like, yeah, I mean, yes, him versus, it's Donald. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. So right. so I'll say this, though. Um, again, regardless of who we put there, if we don't put weapons around whoever, I mean, you might as well keep Cam. If we're keeping the same offensive weapons as we do next year, you might as well just leave Stidham there. Right. That's what I'm saying. Fill the rest of the pieces yeah. this year and wait one more year. Right? And the, other question is, the other question is, is Belichick back? Is he? I mean, you saw him laying down at the press conference. Is he done? I mean, what is he doing? I mean, and, and why is he even starting Cam next week? Put Stidham in. What, you, I mean, you have nothing to lose here. You got to put Cam. What, what are you putting Cam understand. in there again? You benched him because he couldn't do anything, and you're not going to let the kid play and see what you got so you can make a decision. I mean, if if the kid, you know, you would think the kid could beat the Jets, but who knows? You're going to. Does he even want to beat him? Does he want to uh, beat him? I don't know. Yeah. Well, maybe that's why. Maybe he knows Cam can't beat him. Oh, that's what it is. He <laughs> He's throwing the game. <laughs> yeah, if I put Stidham in, he might oh, throw yeah, enough he, to beat them. Cam's yeah, not going to do it. Yeah. It took Cam everything he had to beat the Jets at their very lowest. It really, that I mean. Be a, the fix is in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. now, it's, now it's all but done. So that's, but yeah. You didn't have a fourth rounder last year, Shane. <laughs> so, okay. Yeah. Trade it. Okay, I'm but, good. Yeah, but also, John, I mean, think back the last couple years. Like, the Patriots in their dynasty, right, when they were great. I mean, they were drafting awesome players, right? I mean, they were just hitting consistently in the early rounds. Every year, you know, bringing in great players, Richard Seymour and uh, Chandler Jones and, you know, great defensive players, Gronk, uh, uh, Aaron Hernandez, uh, just high tower right. was drafted. Jamie right. Collins right. was drafted. Bruce we drafted all, yeah, we drafted all yes, these you guys. Were, you were drafting awesome, and that's what made the Patriots great. And then you look back over the last couple of years, and you guys have missed everywhere. A lot. A real lot. And that was kind of the key to, the, to what kept, I think, that that machine going forward is you right. could pay, you could pay out some big contracts because you were just you were just hitting perfect yeah. on drafts. You know, three, four players in a draft were were either, you know, a couple of superstars or serious contributing players to a team. Yeah. And now, you know, look at look at what it is. It's it's a lot of misses. Like we, we like we talked about earlier, two third round quarter uh, tight ends that have amounted to two catches, right? For 15 yards. Yeah. Yeah. So when you have two players that you drafted in the third round that should be contributing and that's you got 15 yards out of two combined which is saying zero from one of them that hurts that hurts plus the loss of a first round pick you know what you've had to endure the last couple of years if if bill doesn't get back on the right track in the draft it doesn't matter because you're going to be it's kind of like how the jets have been they've been missing on drafts consistently for the last 5 or 6 years and they they're trying to offset by signing Tremaine Johnson to a huge deal that was a complete bust and grabbing other free agents, uh, you know C.J. Mosley who opted out and was hurt the whole year. You know, you're paying these guys, Levy and Bell, trying to offset for your shitty drafting, and it it's you can't trade that off. You can't balance it that yeah. way. So if they don't get if they don't get on that train, if they can't figure out how to draft well again. I don't think it matters. You could bring in a couple of high price guys, but the rest of the team is just going to get worse. And right. then what, what do you do? So, I mean, I, I can't even, who's the last guy that, that they've really hit on. Um, I mean, nobody out of this draft is really. Well, last draft. Um, if you look at our, and, and, and some of these players were forced to play, you know, Kyle Duggar, um, He's he's been a pretty steady starter for us. Um, offensive lineman, I, I can't say his last name. Unwa, Mike Unwa, he was taken in the sixth round. He's a tackle. Mm -hmm. um, um, 
who else? Um, the kid from Michigan, the linebacker from Michigan, he's been hurt most of the year, but he's been playing pretty decent of late. So we'll see next year how he is with a full season and a training camp. Um, but you're right. It, it's it's we we just haven't. I mean, a kicker in the fifth round, I didn't understand that. And then the guy doesn't make the team. Um, <laughs> it, it's just <laughs> Bart Gaffney. Ugh. Still, that drop against Indianapolis Colts haunts me because he was wide open. We would have went to the Super Bowl and beat the Bears. But anyways. Um, yeah. I mean, yeah, last, and, last and, year, and I guess. Winovich, Winovich yeah. Yeah. Yep, yeah, Winovich out of Michigan. He's been yeah. playing really good. That kid um, looks good. Mm -hmm. Yep. yep. And um, uh, Damian Harris, you took both of them in the third round. Yeah. Uh, we'll see what Harris is, is going to have. He's had a couple of really good Tony games. Tony Michelle but... has actually played pretty well when he's – when he's healthy, I mean, he, that that Super Bowl run we um, we had, I mean, he was a huge part of that. You know, what I mean, he really was. So I I can't say he wasn't. Um, mm -hmm. So I, I I'm I'm not going to call him a bust. It's just, um, you know, he, he's not putting up, you know, Saquon Barkley numbers, of course. But I mean, he's been a very viable running back when he's in, and I mean, he was a huge reason why we won that Super Bowl against the Rams that year. So. Um, yeah, but like so, I, I'm I'm running through here. Uh, so going back to God, uh, so the his you know history. So 2008, uh, Gerard Mayo was your first round pick. Yeah. 2009, Patrick Chung. Uh, you we also, also drafted grabbed, uh, Julian Edelman that year too. Yep. In, in, in the seven. Yep. Yep. Darius Butler. Uh, he was pretty good. Sebastian yep. Bulmer. Brandon yeah, Tate. He, Wow. Uh, that was that a was, good draft. That was 2009, 2010, Devin McCourty, Gronk, uh, Aaron hmm. Hernandez, Brandon Spikes. Um, go to 2011, Nate Solder, uh, Stephen Ridley, Marcus yeah. Cannon. Another uh, good player. 2012, Chandler Jones, Deontay Tytower, uh, oh, yeah. Tevin we Wilson, Nate uh, Ebner. Decent picks there. 2013, Jamie Collins, Logan Ryan. Uh, 2014, Dominic Easley, who didn't do shit, but and this is where it kind of started going downhill. Jimmy Garoppolo in the second. You got James yeah. White. And then we get to 2015, Malcolm Brown, Trey Flowers, Shaq Mason, whatever. Uh, 16, uh, Joe, uh, how do you say Joe's? Don't, Tooney. Tune, yeah. Offensive uh, lineman, yeah. Joe yeah. Tooney. Uh, Brissett. That's kind of the key guys out of that. 2017, I don't know. Derek Rivers, Antonio Garcia, Dietrich Wise, Connor McDermott. Nothing. Uh, Isaiah Wynn. Sony Isaiah Michelle. Wynn. Okay. Sony Michelle. This is yeah. 2018. Duke Dawson in the second round. Uh, Braxton Berrios. Thank you for that in the sixth. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, Ryan Izzo in the seventh. Um, and then 19, Nikhil Harry, Chase Winovich, Damian Harris, and then Josh Duggar and uh, Josh Ushi yeah. uh, this past year. But, I mean, you could see the, the drop-off in talent there uh, over the last, since really 2016, it's kind of just been downhill right. from there. So if they don't turn around and, and start hitting on those, you know, Jamie Collins, Chandler Jones, Deontay Hightower, Solder, Gronk, McCourty, I mean, those, I mean, the first two rounds you were pulling gems. And now it's kind of gone to this, God, I hope something happens. Right. So I don't know. And I know that that kind of went long, sorry, but just to kind no, of. No, 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 you're right. And and that's what they need to get back to. Um, and and we suck at drafting wide receivers. We, I don't know if we've ever hit on a wide receiver since Irving Fryer back in, what, 1984 with the number one pick. <laughs> I still remember that. We took Irving Fryer out of Nebraska. Um but we have not hit on a wide receiver. I mean, Julian Edelman, yeah, okay, 09 if you want to count that. But he technically was drafted as a quarterback, I want to say, converted to a wide receiver. So, um, yeah. Plus it was the seventh round, I think. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was a so, sixth, seventh round pick. So, yeah, I mean, you were was, just uh, throwing hey, it. we're going to take him. And yeah, I mean, just throwing a dart. Seventh round pick, yep. Bill he turned him into what I think is I, – I, I think he was better than Wes Welker. But, I mean, we can debate that too. But um, – I, I, I don't know. And that's another big question next year. Is Julian Edelman done? Or is mm -hmm. he done in New England? Is he done in, in the NFL? I don't know. But 
I mean, that's another huge blow. I mean, who's our slot guy next year? Because that's also part of our offense. I don't know. Maybe pry, try and pry Cole Beasley away from Buffalo. I don't know because he sure as hell looks money. Yeah, I don't think they're. I don't think they're letting him go. You're. No, I that's wouldn't. why I said, like, <laughs> if you guys don't start hitting in the draft, this is going to be a long turn. It's not. Agreed. Mm, Agreed. You know, I, I can tell you from a team that sucked for the last forty nine years. You know what it's what it's it's just you can't just grab a player here and there and the, the market's not just open to be like uh, I'll take Matt Ryan I'll take this guy, I'll take mm-hmm. Cole Beasley okay we'll just let even though the Patriots find a way to do it like hey uh, you know Oakland who do you want what do you want for Randy Moss oh oh Bill Belichick's calling me oh just get, just give me a fifth okay <laughs> uh, yeah uh, yes Westbrook's a free agent as well yeah that's what I mean the Pats are gonna go after once has to go after some of these guys. They have to start paying for offensive talent because we can't draft it, right? especially mm-hmm. wide receivers. Running backs, I think we're okay in. This is the year. This it is. is. The, year. the wide receiver class is – and I don't know who's going to get tagged. I assume a couple of them will probably get tagged, but you know, between Baby Tron, Godwin, Allen Robinson, uh, I mean, Westbrook – Are they restricted, even... though, or are they no, unrestricted? They're unrestricted. Okay, then they can go but anywhere then. There's a ton – uh, but they, I think they could still tag them. They should right? be able to if they're unrestricted, though, right? I don't think you can tag them in in, in unrestricted status. Restricted, um, restricted is what the 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 team can match whatever. Um, yeah, I think the contract. team can. Just, yeah. That's true. Yes, a team can tag them, though. But I I need to read up on that about the unrestricted because yeah, I, I think sure. that's different. Hmm. Yeah, uh, but yeah, a lot of a lot of wide receiver talent coming out this year so that that kind of makes it hard because there's there's some good wide receivers coming out in the draft but do you take them or do you just go after established guys and then build the other positions yeah i thought you could tag anyone i would rather go after establish yeah that's usually the way the pats do it yeah i i would rather go after an established yeah. player and go from there mm-hmm. so we'll see it's mm-hmm. going to be it's going to be interesting and i'm excited to see year what year two of 20 looks like for the patriots and mm. you know i just i i hope you stay with us through this through mm. this rebuild <laughs> i'm not going anywhere i'm That's, not going anywhere man yeah um because like trap you know travis is on his way up now with 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 trevor lawrence and you know now that now that it's done and put to bed and i keep watching film on on zach wilson and he i mean i'm just and that that's the guy that's the guy if you can't get trevor lawrence it's zach wilson if he if the jets get him at number two i am very happy very very happy he looks awesome so uh comparisons to to mahomes to aaron Rodgers, it, if if he comes close to any one of those that that that's a win so you know it, it could be a complete changing of the guard it mm-hmm. really could be i don't i mean it already is the bills look like the predominant force now in the AFC East. Yeah. So Miami, I don't know if two is as good as, as we thought he was. I mean, he, he's had some serious, serious clunkers. So I think he'll be okay. I think he'll be okay. So, yeah, so real two. quick show too. You talk about free agents, yeah. uh, Godwin, Alan Robinson, mm-hmm. Kenny Galladay. Hey, I'm just going through this real quick. Uh, Will Fuller, which we all know what happened to him. Yeah. Uh, Juju Smith. Yep, Juju. Uh, Hunter Henry for tight ends. Uh, Cam Newton. <laughs> Bastards. Um, <laughs> let's see. where Fitzy, Fitzmagic. Uh, I'm just scrolling down here real fast just so we don't go too, too long. Uh, yeah, really, I don't know why they didn't have your boy on there, Travis, but I don't see him in the top 50. Corey Davis out of Tennessee. Again, not a Big guy, but I mean, Marvin Jones forgot about yep. him. Um, Everett tight end over in uh, LA. So I mean, there's this play is out there, but you're right. Are they going to franchise him? Yeah, hmm. I mean, some of them will get locked up, but with the yeah. cap with the cap, uh, cap dropping, a lot of these teams are going to have to dump additional players as well to get under the cap or restructure a lot of people that might be unwilling yes. to restructure. So. Um, so a lot of these teams cannot afford to put a cap or to put a tag on these players. So that's right. another thing. And, and being, you know, for Travis, for me, for you having money to spend 
that's going to be huge this year. It really is. So, um, and, and listen, the Pats don't have the draw they used to have even a year ago. They don't. Right before, yes, anyone would come for any amount, yeah. right? They want to play with Brady. They want to go win a Super Bowl. After seeing this season with nothing happening, it's going to be like, uh, well, should I go to the Pats or the Jets? I don't know. That's why they're going to have to overpay. That's why I said it earlier. They're going to have to overpay for people right. because they don't have the luxury of getting Junior Seau for a, for a two-year, $4 million contract because he wants That's a right. ring. That's right. You know, Rodney Harrison at a cheap mm-hmm. price. You right. know, Now the Chiefs have that. The Chiefs are in that seat. Exactly. Right? Anybody, I'll take me, take me. I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll, the Chiefs I'll Tampa. Bell, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, yeah. I mean, it's going to be somebody because they're going to win. Mm-hmm. New England, uh, I don't know. I want to buy tickets well. early because I think well. they'll be somewhat affordable next year if they, yeah, if they will. allow it, you know? Well, wait wait like five years. They'll be really cheap. Once you start – but you're saying it. Once you start having to overpay for players, then you start missing because you, you're, you're having, to, over, you're having mm-hmm. to reach for players that aren't worth that much, and they come in and they play like they aren't worth that much, but they're eating up chunks of salary. And – and that's trust that that's what you've seen it. You've seen it year in and year out with the Jets, and we've talked about it year in and year out. You sign these big guys, and they can't perform to the money that they're getting, and then it's it, it just one one brick laid on top of another, and the eventually, you know, you end up back at the beginning again and back at the beginning again. It's just but Belichick won't overpay. That's the look, thing. As long as he's at the helm, they're not overpaying for anybody. They, yeah. they they're going to go without, and he's going to make do. And that may be the downfall of him here in the next couple of years. Yeah, because he didn't ever pay this year, and you could see how well they're going to be a trickle down effect. Yes, it's going to be a trickle down effect. So, and then, uh, and then, like Jim said, New England becomes less and less interesting to go to, and Mm -hmm. and then what do you do? Then Bill leaves, and he's like, "All right, that's enough of this. (laughs) Best of luck." Yeah, now you got a coach, and but he's the only reason now you'd still. Once he says it's over, he's 67, 69, whatever right. he is, and he, he, no one knows even what his hell his contract is. He doesn't say it. So it could be up at any time, or he could just say, you know what, I've had enough. I'm done. Mm-hmm. This is a terrible season. I'm not going to go through three more years like this, and leaves. And McDaniels maybe moves in, or I, who knows what they do from there. But it's going to take a little bit of time for anybody to say, yeah, I'll, I want to go there. Right. Schobert's a prime example. I mean, way overpaid, what, out of Cleveland or Cincy. They paid a mm-hmm. lot of money to him, and it was like twenty over $20 million plus guaranteed. And, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, you have to overpay, but that's what Jacksonville had to do. But, um, right, right. But, Shaney, do you honestly see Belichick overpaying? The Browns, yep. Do you honestly see Belichick overpaying for anybody? I, I don't. I don't. I think he's going to find the best deal possible, and let's hope Kenny Galladay is healthy or somebody like that. If that's who he chooses to go after, or who knows, he may not even do that. I don't know. Um, we'll see. It's yeah. It's, it's going to be it's going to be interesting talking to you over the next couple seasons. I think because it's the Patriots. This is just the beginning. This, yeah, Patriots Nation thinks it's just going to be it, like we've talked about all year. It, it's been this. This is just the way things are. The Patriots are just good. And it might not be anymore. And it's hard. It's it's not sinking in yet that this could be. This could be the next ten years. It will sink in when Belichick leaves, because, like mm-hmm. you said earlier, Belichick was striking gold. He needs to start striking gold again. I mean, he's a genius. He knows what he wants. He knows the players that he wants. Mm-hmm. That's why every time somebody asks him, "Who um, are you going to start, Cam?" or it's a stupid question because a he's going to tell you nothing. You know, he's going to give absolutely nothing away for the next week. So I have faith in Belichick. I mean, we've won for 20 years with him. Exactly. They always figure it out. Now, if Belichick leaves and someone else comes yep. in, they somebody. Have, they have always figured it out. They have. For, for the they last have. 20 years. Wow, look at Joe. Joe's on the other side of the fence now. Look at this. <laughs> they have for the last 20 years. So until Good. Belichick takes his last breath as a New England coach. <laughs> I have faith in him. I have faith in him. I do. I I don't like how this season went, but again, two months ago, three months ago, I said we're going to be seven and nine, and and here we are. We're on the brink of seventy nine. I, I I just I, I knew what we had. I mean, I see we seen the team last year. 
start what seven or eight uh set eight and one last year and we collapsed the second half of the season because yeah. we had no offense we did nothing new absolutely nothing new um, so i guess i guess next year will be the big the big indicator if you go seven and nine this year and next year you win five games what happens i don't you know, know. I mean? is that when know. bill says okay that that's it i'm done and then every the wheels just come off completely or you know it's going to be or you know if you win six games if you win eight games what yeah because i don't think i don't don't think you're going to catapult back up into the 10 11 win range in the next couple years it's going to take right you got to play all the other teams in the afc east who are all going to be more dominant they are miami buffalo and even the jets with whoever they draft and get with the couldn't money, agree more. Couldn't agree more. I mean, that, that could be six losses right there. Yeah, that's why. I, that, as long as Bill stays, I think we're going to be okay. When he leaves, or if we have another season like this, where we're constantly questioning who's the quarterback of this team, you're right, Joe. I mean, you can't win without a good quarterback. Mm-hmm. Shit, give me a decent quarterback. Who knows? Maybe Darnold is the guy here. I don't know. But who knows? Maybe he's going to stay the guy in 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 New York. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, he has looked good the last couple of weeks. He has talent around him. They just have to put more protection around him. And mm. it, it's not the weapons that he had that they're lacking there. It's the protection. I mean, it truly is. It's the protection. Mm. I think. But um, and the coach. That's why I hope Case stays. Um, <laughs> but I don't know. I I, <sighs> I it, it's so weird to not like not think about who the the Patriots are playing in the playoffs. You know what I mean? Me and John say, what the fuck, at the start of the season and end up, yes. So losing Brady the first year was going to be hard. Next year they will have a slightly easier schedule because they won't. It's very true. Very, very true. We won't have to play the divisional winners next year. Um, Ten wins. I'm not going to predict wins until I see a roster. I want to see a roster before I predict anything. But who's going to win you 10 games? Dak Prescott. <laughs> okay, yes. He would. He would. If, if Dak but... comes, yes, yes. But, and, but and if Dak today, comes, I'm expecting 12-13 with Belichick. Yeah, as we sit today, how can you fully expect 10 wins? Well, with what with what talent on this lineup can you fully expect 10 this wins? This roster is is going to look totally different next year. It's going to be a totally different team next year. Yeah, starting well, from the quarterback on down. Yeah, because Cam's done. He was a one year, one million. So he was. You I, know, I'm, 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 I'm telling you, the worst thing in the world wouldn't be Jimmy G coming in if he can stay healthy. It wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. No. Yeah. It's going to be fun. This is going to be fun. You know, the, the Giants kind of might. Exciting. The Giants might get better. The Jets might get better. Patriots might get worse. I mean, it's just a whole whole changing of the guard here. It's going to be going to be a blast. Oh, God, I've waited so long for this. <laughs> but I want to mention one thing before we get off. The Patriots still will end up with more wins than the Jets and Giants. When? This year. Oh, well. So what we're all talking about my team, what my team has to do, you guys have less wins than I do. You guys should be a little bit more scared. Well, actually, no, because if uh they are more lined up, right? <laughs> yeah, so we're that. we're sitting me we're we're sitting at a seven seven wins total right now. Yeah. And what no, are you guys? I, I'm just talking, we have more wins than the Jets and Giants. Oh, I thought you were saying combined. No, 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 no. Yeah, mm-hmm. this this year you do. This year you do. I can't wait to talk about what you're going to do with the third pick in the draft next year. So excited. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> All right. Well, I, I say that, that's a good place to wrap it. Yep. Right. So uh, this, this went wa- long, and I don't know how, but thank you for, for chiming so in. Actually, now, now, before we talk about the next next show, yeah. they flex the, the, the Eagle-Washington game to Sunday night. Did you see that? No. no, I didn't. It's a Sunday really? night. So it was supposed to be all four eight NFC East at one o'clock. Now, you know, if the Giants beat Dallas, Washington needs to win to get in to win it. And the game's wow. at eight o'clock now. Uh, so I, I don't I don't I don't know why that has to be the team the, the game of the week, right? Because wow. there's no Monday night football. So that's the Sunday night game. 
and it's going to be for the for for the uh, well division. because Washington controls their own destiny, right? Yeah, that's why yeah. they flexed it. Then that's yeah. why they flexed it because yeah. there's really no other team except for as I look at this. I know there's a lot of playoff scenarios. Like I know, uh, let's see, Green Bay. Well, if if Big Ben was playing, if Big Ben was playing, I would want to see that Browns. Steelers. Absolutely, that can stay yeah. at one o'clock though. That's no big deal. Yeah, but then you got Indy playing in the afternoon against Jacksonville. They have to win. Uh, Arizona has to win, but Goff isn't playing. Um, no. Yep. Um, let's see. But for the, the NFC, yeah. it was all at the same time, right? You know what I'm right. kind of surprised at? That Green Bay and Chicago didn't flex because they're still playing for something. Yeah, that, you know? that means something. Yeah, it would have been right. nice to see the whole NFC East just battling it out at the same time, yeah. board, board, board right. board watching and and yep. pushing and and trying to get in, not not knowing like okay, mm -hmm. we're we're you know because if the Giants lose, it doesn't matter. No, then the game doesn't matter at night, right? Yeah. So, well, wait a minute. Yeah, yeah would, wouldn't the uh, here? Hold on. Or actually, no, they would still have to win to beat the Cowboys, right? Yes, because Dallas would have seven wins. Dallas is at six and nine right yes, now. Yes, 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 yes. So, so if Dallas wins, wouldn't that be the craziest thing? Oh my Dalton god! Dalton pulls him in. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah, because it, it very well it very well could be if if uh, all of a sudden CD Lamb gets ten catches and Zeke <laughs> runs for two hundred and yeah, I mean they're that offense is is picking they have back the up. pieces. They have the yeah. see that's what I was talking about. That's what New England needs to do. They got Gallup and 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 Cooper and Lamb and Zeke and now you just need the quarterback. So build the rest of the team. Yeah. Well, you guys know how fucking sick I was when we didn't draft CD Lamb last year and mm. or this year. And God, <laughs> he's. Mm -hmm. uh, and as for Dalton, think about if if Dak uh, was still there. Unreal. I want to see what. I mean, he only had three for sixty-five this week, but. Um, yeah, man, I'm not a great four o'clock. I don't like four o'clock AFC East games either. I don't like them. Yeah, so CD I like Lamb. The one game. Oh, man. He's coming up on 900 yards, five touchdowns, 69 catches. Like, I don't know. If he has a big game, he could break 1,000 yards as a rookie on a team that's got Cooper and, and Gallup on it and Zeke. Like, man, that's good. That's good stuff. But uh Good night, Trevor Lawrence Simmons. Yes, yep. happy new year. Mm, Trevor Lawrence Simmons. Mm. <laughs> Stings a little bit, but yes. anyway, at least yeah, he can so. get his, his avatar as a yeah, I like you know, Trevor. Like, <laughs> put Trevor's picture on there or something. Uh, um, yeah, all right. So uh so we're not gonna be able to do this show until Monday. Because the I mean, we won't know what the Giants unless the Giants no, yeah, gotta, do, gotta do the preview. Gotta do the preview show on Wednesday. So when's that? New Year's Eve? Yeah, that's gonna be no, is that New Year's Eve? No, no, no. New Year's Eve is Thursday, right? Wait, tomorrow's Wednesday. Yeah, we so gotta do it tomorrow. tomorrow. Oh my god, you guys turn this in you guys turn this into a full time job and I love it. What is this? Uh, every night? <laughs> you oh, gotta I gotta, play. Send my, I gotta send my time sheet in. I forgot. Yeah. Um <laughs> Overtime this week, but yeah. we got we got to blame John. If he would have just got beat down during the week or on Sunday, it wouldn't have mattered. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. right. So tomorrow, yeah, so, right? so we'll have to be back tomorrow. We'll do our preview show and uh, a big one for for John and and Jim. Me and you get to battle it out at the very end, as it should be. Mm -hmm. Nice. That's right. That's right. Uh, yeah, so we're going to see, you know, it's going to happen. Is Sam Darnold's going to have that 450 yard, five touchdown game and just throw everything mm -hmm. into chaos, you know, and then Cam Newton, New England wins the Super Bowl next year and all is well in New England again. Yeah. And Casey's Cam, the offensive coordinator. <laughs> but, but you know what's going to happen at the same time is, is uh, Cam Newton's going to have that bounce back game and have 300 yards and then they're going to sign him again. Thank no, he him. won't. No, we won't. <laughs> Watch. I will yeah. bet a lot of money on that, Joe. Uh, I will bet yes. a lot of money on uh -huh. that. All right. Well, let, well let's That's wrap it, it up. So we'll be back tomorrow. Um, I don't know who's still here, but if you haven't subscribed yet or if you're watching this later, please, please subscribe, hit that bell, set, set it to all, and like this show, even if you hate the Patriots. Uh, but we will be back tomorrow. Uh, 
Mm-hmm. Talk some more football. We got the big matchups. Uh, and until then, stay safe, and we will see you manana.